The HI9814 Grow Line Waterproof Meter measures pH, conductivity, total dissolved solids, and temperature with a single amplified probe that is immune to interference from humidity and electrical noise. Today, we will be performing a quick calibration using the HI50036P Quick Calibration Solution. Getting the meter ready to use is easy. First, install the batteries. Be sure to tighten the battery cover to ensure water tightness. Next, connect the probe by aligning the pins and tightening the nut for a secure connection. All operations are performed through the use of two buttons. Press the on-off mode button to turn the meter on. Note the battery percentage level upon startup. The meter will display the last selected parameter, temperature, stability indicator, instructions on how to enter calibration and setup modes. Modify the current setting by pressing and holding the mode button for six seconds. Off and cow messages will be displayed before entering setup mode. Currently, the meter is set to display concentration as EC. To select TDS in parts per million, press the set button. 500 unit is then displayed for showing concentration readings using a 0.5 conversion factor. Pressing set again shows 700 unit for a 0.7 conversion factor. Pressing set again cycles the measurement option back to EC unit. Once you've selected your preferred measurement mode, EC TDS, press mode again to choose your calibration type. Growline offers two types of calibration, Cal Standard and Cal Quick. Cal Quick is used with Hanna's Quick Calibration Solution that is for a single point pH and EC calibration. Press mode to select temperature units. Pressing the set button changes from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Press the mode button again to set the automatic shutoff time. The default setting is 8 minutes. Press set to change it to 60 minutes or press set again to disable auto off. Pressing the mode button again exits back to measurement mode. Now that the meter is set up to your preferences, the next thing to do is calibrate the probe. We will be performing a quick calibration using the HI50036P Quick Calibration Solution. Remove the protective cap and rinse the probe with distilled or deionized water to remove any impurities or salts that would contaminate the calibration solution. Press and hold the mode button for three seconds until Cal is displayed. Place the probe into an open packet of quick calibration solution. Once reading is stable, the meter will automatically calibrate and exit to measurement mode. You are now free to take measurements. Before taking a measurement, rinse the probe in distilled or deionized water. Place the probe in the sample and wait for a stable reading. Stirring gently will help speed up the results. Pressing the set button will allow you to change between pH or EC readings. For multiple samples, it is important to rinse the probe between each sample to avoid cross-contamination. After taking measurements, turn the meter off and rinse the probe with purified water. This is very important to prevent any biological growth on the glass of the pH probe. Once the probe is rinsed, add a small amount of storage solution to the protective cap and place over the probe. The storage solution will ensure that the pH probe stays hydrated until the next use. It is important to periodically clean your probe and set a regular schedule for probe maintenance. To clean the probe, place the probe in the agricultural cleaning solution for 15 minutes. Rinse the probe with distilled or deionized water. Next, place in storage solution for at least 2-3 to three hours. Calibration is necessary before taking any measurements. This meter and other products are available on our site. We hope you have enjoyed this instructional video. For more information, be sure to contact us or visit hannainst.com.